Maximum Settings is a cloud gaming service based in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Now we designate Maximum Settings as a PC rental service similar to Shadow. A cloud PC rental service like this is a dream for PC gamers who want to use and play a top-notch PC anywhere they go without actually taking their hardware with them. For this video, we're going to run a full benchmark on our mid-tier GTX 1080 Maximum Settings PC. The benchmark will be a score on the overall PC performance using Unigen Super Precision. Then we'll break down the components of the Maximum Settings PC to see how it will compare with similar PC services. Let's get to it. Now before we start, I want to mention that we tried benchmarking the Maximum Settings PC with the same software as we did with our other benchmarks. PC Mark 10 and 3D Mark crashed every time we tried to run the benchmark, so we opted for the Unigen benchmark software instead. Now for this benchmark, we're going to run two presets. The default preset for 1080p's medium settings, and then the high-end, extreme 1080p settings. Here's the full benchmark for the medium settings. The score for the medium preset is decent as I expected at this resolution. It presents a minimum FPS of 57, an average of 93, and a max of about 130. For a system that is using a GTX 1080 for the GPU, I expected a score like this at 1080p. Now I also ran the extreme benchmark preset just to see how it would compare with the medium settings. I had the score for this and I'll show you it here instead of running the benchmark again for you. The score is lower because the settings are maxed out. This is a mid-tier machine for maximum settings. 
This benchmark is actually a lot lower compared to Shadow's mid-tier Ultra plan, which I even ran in 4K. Let's move on to the system specs. Now we'll check out the maximum setting stats using CPU-Z and GPU-Z. I also had problems running HW Monitor for this benchmark, so I skipped it. CPU-Z provides all the technical data on the CPU running your maximum settings PC. It reveals that this machine is using an AMD Ryzen 7 1700, which is surprisingly a desktop CPU. It's an 8-core processor and clocks in at 3.0 GHz. The Unigen benchmark displayed that it was actually running at 3.5 GHz. Note that this is an older, lower-performing AMD Ryzen processor compared to the latest AMD Ryzen processors, but still a viable one. Now GPU-Z gives us the data on the machine's graphics card. It is using the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080. If you've been keeping up with the graphics card industry, you will know that the GTX 1080 was an industry killer when it was released. But now, it's two and a half generations behind most current NVIDIA graphics cards. The 1080 can't run RTX ray tracing like most current setups. Now for the RAM, 12 gigs of DDR RAM is plenty for gaming, so you don't need to worry about having enough RAM for this maximum settings package. You'll be happy to know that I was able to get an inside scoop on how the maximum settings infrastructure works. They use an open source software called Proxmox to virtualize their clients' PCs from a giant pool of available PC hardware. This also helps spread the cost of each user because users do not actually have a dedicated machine. They are using a virtual machine instead. They have created a custom proprietary script using Proxmox that creates your virtual machine every time you log in so you are always utilizing the exact mount of your PC package. Now Maximum Settings does this for every one of their plans. They are adding more hardware to their server cluster little by little. Plus, GPUs are very hard to come by at this moment, so this is why available machines are hard to come by. Overall, I find this mid-tier PC rental on maximum settings to be underwhelming. I'm surprised to see the PC specs to be desktop hardware, but knowing how the infrastructure is operated, it all makes sense. I was also expecting to see more current hardware on this tier. This setup seems more of a low tier option instead of a mid tier setup. I would like to see some RTX action in the future. Hopefully maximum settings will upgrade their mid tier plan to support RTX once the GPU market opens up more. If you like this maximum settings benchmark, give us a like and feel free to subscribe so you can get the latest news gameplay and comparisons on cloud gaming at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven cloud gaming battle